I'm telling you, you need to worship the living God who is the Holy Ghost. And doing so will take you to places that you've never been and couldn't go because you refused to choose. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Joshua chapter 24 and verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord. Isn't that funny? You know, and I was looking that up because it, it struck me as funny. And it means not easy. If it seems not easy for you to serve the Lord. Meaning it's a difficult thing, right? Because we think, why would it seem evil to serve the Lord? We'll get into that in a little bit. Because some of the things I'm going to say tonight, people would think is literally evil anyway so we read it again and if it seem evil unto you to serve the lord choose you this day whom you will serve say whom, whom. so there has to be a whom that you're going to serve and it's your choice say it's my choice, my choice. which also means it's your will that you have to use to go here mm -hmm. so you have to be willing and then you choose mm -hmm. well I have chosen a way to go and I have chosen a Lord to serve is that okay yeah. is that scriptural yeah. yes. I've chosen to go this way mm -hmm. I have chosen to go this way and you can follow me or not that's up to you that's your choice can you see this yeah. I'm not forcing you to do anything God's not even forcing you to do anything he's saying you make the choice you use your will you either go this way or you don't mm -hmm. choose you this day whom you will serve and serve many times you can see it translated worship mm -hmm. in other places choose you this day whom you will worship worship is a form of service if it seem evil it's not we're talking about serving the Lord right mm -hmm. and he goes on to say but as for me and my house we will serve the Lord mm -hmm. so he made the choice he says I'm going here say I'm going here I'm going and you have to make a choice to do it whether anybody else does or not mm -hmm. right because he's giving people the choice many people are not gonna go here Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 I call heaven and earth to record this day against you earth when the Bible talks about the earth you ought, your ears ought to perk up because uh, that's where you live yeah. so he's calling heaven and earth to, to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death blessing and cursing where in the earth there's life and death in the earth is this too difficult no blessing and cursing where in the earth, in the earth. then he's going to give you a choice mm -hmm. therefore choose life <laughs> choose blessing mm -hmm. that both thou and thy seed may live so again it's up to you mm -hmm. stop choosing the curse yeah. you choose whom you will serve and then you choose the life mm -hmm. say I choose the life. I choose the life suppose we learned about the Lord being the living God mm -hmm. what would a living God give to you if you worshiped him and served him life, life. very good mm -hmm. come to the front have a seat you're supposed to choose this mm -hmm. I like how he he gives you the answer I set before you mm -hmm life and death blessing and cursing Psst, choose life he gives you the answer yeah. open book yeah. the open book. open book with the answers in it yeah. 
how do people fail this test <laughs> uh, so you choose life I choose to serve and worship the living God is this okay yes do you have a problem with me for saying that no. I choose to serve the living God it's this living God that gives me richly all things to enjoy Does that sound like a scripture first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the living God who say the living God who the living God who the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy who are you supposed to trust in the living God who gives you richly all things to enjoy he's a who the living God is a who do you suppose it makes a difference to know who the living God is because you're gonna worship him and you're gonna serve him and life and blessing is going to come out of that mm -hmm. worshiping and serving him say worshiping, worshiping. And, serving him. and serving him all things living God gives us richly and it matters who he is and it matters that you know who he is choose you this day whom you will serve mm -hmm. I'm not off my message we're choosing to serve him second Chronicles 16 9 the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are perfect towards him mm -hmm. would it matter that you know who he is well his eyes were looking out in the earth I happen to have eyes and I can look out to and fro in the earth well I have news for you there's only one God that you can look out in the earth and find and see and his name is the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. I choose to serve him he's the one Jesus sent to be with us mm -hmm. he's the only God in the earth today say I choose him you know a lot of people don't choose him a lot of people choose a religious idea to worship and serve rather than the living God say the living God, the living God. say the living God. the living God say the living God. the living God shouldn't you serve and worship the living God mm -hmm. there's benefits all things richly to enjoy I choose to serve and worship the living God second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 for you are the temple of the living God mm -hmm. say I am, I am the, temple the temple of the living God first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of of the Holy Ghost second Corinthians 6 16 said mm -hmm. you're the temple of the Living God here it says the temple of the Holy Ghost who's the Living God the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is the Living God in the earth today verse 20 therefore glorify God in your body who did he say was God in your body the Holy, the Holy Ghost he's the living God in your body and in your spirit which are God's you are supposed to glorify the God that's in your body now you're a temple what are you supposed to do when you go to the temple you worship the God that's in the temple mm -hmm. one way to glorify God is to worship him are you saying you're supposed to worship the living God who is the Holy Ghost 
only if you want to be scriptural right yep. and then he richly provides you with all things you've chosen to go here say I've chosen to go here and see you have to make this choice because in a way it seems evil to some people mm -hmm. have you experienced this you tell them I worship the Holy Ghost and they're like oh that seems evil but I choose to go here say I choose to go here, I choose to go here. and I'm sorry these things don't exist in Christianity you might think they do but they don't even though it's thoroughly scriptural mm -hmm. I've been in Christian circles for 40 some years most of that time I've been in the ministry mm -hmm. and not once not one single time did anyone ever tell me that I should worship the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. not one time they couldn't go here but I'm telling you to I'm telling you you need to worship the Living God who is the Holy Ghost and doing so will take you to places that you've never been and couldn't go because you refused to choose use the words I worship you Holy Ghost seems evil to some I mean it's because your mind has been twisted to not think or go that way use these words I worship you Holy Ghost and when you do you enter into a room where he is God where he is the living God in the earth today and will do things for you he's the Spirit Lord he's the living God second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 says now the lord is that spirit when's now right now. right now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty a kind of liberty a kind of freedom that you can't know mm -hmm. and you can't have unless you know that he is lord the Spirit Lord Luke chapter 4 verse 8 says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve 2nd Corinthians 3 17 says now the Lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve now the Lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve now the Lord thy God is that spirit thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve now the Lord is that spirit are you getting this I could probably just keep saying that for like an hour till people got mad at me but you have to get it and once you get it you enter into a place and a room as I say that you weren't in before you didn't even know who the Lord your God was let alone could you serve him you weren't worshiping him you couldn't serve him you weren't worshiping him you couldn't serve him well I speak from this room and it's different you know when you enter into a different room right mm -hmm. some say they are willing to change but are not some say they've entered into this room but haven't but it's to you that I speak you who have entered into this room by worshiping the Holy Ghost as God you who have chosen to come in here say chosen, chosen you who have entered I speak to you have been accepted you have been approved you have his attention now what good question now what you have his attention you're in this room you've been approved 
you have chosen you've chosen to worship the living God now that you're here you choose life you choose blessing by the words you say mm -hmm. by the words you say mm -hmm. say by the words I say by the, words I the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words this is something that dawns on people over time I've had people in this room worshiping the Holy Ghost for a year or so and then all of a sudden they finally get it that this is how I walk with God is by saying words I've gone over this and over and you have to go over it so many times before it dawns on people they finally go oh I get it the problem is people are listening to all other kinds of things besides this and when I speak to them from this room they aren't quite getting it yet because their mind is so filled with all of these other things that frankly isn't in this room mm -hmm. well, you don't always get it at first and that's why I keep at it and I keep at it and I keep at it believe me you want it this way this is how it's supposed to work this is how you walk with God this is the way of the Holy Ghost worshiper mm -hmm. say this is the way, is the way. Of, the of the Holy Ghost worshiper, worshiper. who's that yes. you are that some may say that the Holy Ghost is God I've heard it some say the Holy Ghost is God and that he's even in the earth he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today but they stop short of worshiping him shame on you if he's God and he's in the earth you should worship God but they've stopped short so they haven't entered the room but now take the next step and choose say choose, choose. to enter into this room by worshiping him some may even tentatively worship him looking for lightning bolts to make sure you know that it's not evil but have not learned yet to walk with him by saying words but you are not like other people you know him as God you do worship him and you do walk with him by saying words when you speak in agreement with his word and predominantly I'm talking about saying a promise of God when you speak that promise of God out your mouth you are literally calling for and asking for change people may say well how do I change when you speak his word you're asking for change you're calling change Amen. the change is in the word itself because that's what he already spoke how far you go is up to you you choose small blessing small life or big blessing big life how far you go is up to you it's mine for the choosing you see how we started this out mm -hmm. it's your choice say it's my choice, it's my choice. How, far I go. how far I go choose you this day I like this I've always liked this kind of message mm -hmm. God not holding back on me he's not holding back on you Romans chapter 4 verse 17 this is God speaking to Abraham I have made thee the father of many nations before him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls those things that be not as though they were who does this God does this it's how God does things it's how God did it for Abraham and then it was how Abraham walked with God Abraham had to if he wanted to walk with God he had to begin changing what he said 
to align with what God had already said mm -hmm. as it is written as it is written I've made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were so how did Abraham walk with God speaking the word calling things mm -hmm. say Abraham, Abraham walked with God, walked with God. Calling, things. calling things and those things be not meaning they were not the way it was supposed to be mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. but he called it that way anyways mm -hmm. you are the thing that be not yet you become the thing that be Does that make sense mm -hmm. how do you become the thing that be by calling it this is how god does things this is how god does everything always has always will you want it some other way mm -hmm. it's too bad it doesn't work that other way that you want it this is the way it works and this works and the sooner you learn especially you who are in this room the sooner you learn that it's not all those other ways it's this way that god has chosen for you to choose to walk with him the better off you'll be the more blessed you'll be the more life you will be this is your answer you've asked God what do I do what do I do this is your answer spending time worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost being a proper temple well it's a proper temple but one who worships the God of the temple mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and then spending time speaking in agreement with his word this works it works for everyone who will work it and you don't want it some other way I'm telling you once you get it this way you'll never go back I choose to go here say I choose, I choose to go here. go here I'm going here and I'm taking you with me mm -hmm. when I say things listen when I say the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy that includes you I'm not confessing just for me I'm confessing for all of those that God has given to go with me Daniel chapter 7 verse 26 says but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and destroy it unto the end and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven where is that the earth is under the whole heaven the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high God who is this kingdom given to the people of the saints my people are given this did you hear that mm -hmm. my people are given this I'm going here and my people are going here and we're given something that isn't given to other people get that straight everything is in here have you heard me say that yet yeah. everything is in this room worshiping the Holy Ghost speaking in agreement with his word currency economy politics government society life it's all in here Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 says but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth say power, power. to get wealth. get wealth is that in your Bible yes. it is. it's all in here the Lord my God whom I worship and serve gives me and my people power to get wealth well I looked up this word wealth and you know what it's mostly translated as 82 times the Hebrew word for wealth here is translated 
armies mm. God gives you power to get armies now we could go okay armies angelic armies but either way armies are expensive we are entering into a new world wide power one that gets wealth and one that supersedes all of the other armies and forces and powers in the earth and the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven earth shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high god whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom mm -hmm. hitherto is the end of the matter and this is the end of the matter this is how it ends mm -hmm. fate accompli it's a thing that's already been decided it's as if it's already happened you know that's how god does stuff right mm -hmm. He says it and it's as if it has already happened and you get mad at me but here it is written as it is written remember Abraham had to say call things that be not as it is written hitherto is the end of the matter fate a complete a thing that's already been decided as if it's already happened before those affected ever hear about it leaving them no option but to accept it did god leave any option here no he did not it's a fate that's already been accomplished listen to me there is a total conversion coming a spiritual currency beginning to form and take place like you might exchange a ruble for a US dollar complete conversion say complete conversion. complete conversion or you might exchange a USD a US dollar for something else I hope you can hear this I realize it is a lot more than people are willing to hear yet but we must go here the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion and consume and destroy it unto the end and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high god who's the most high god the holy ghost the living god the one you've chosen to serve and walk with mm -hmm. and worship hitherto is the end of the matter Holy Ghost I thank you that this end of the matter has been solidified in the hearts of people this evening and they shall begin to walk in the new in a way they've never been before and never known before for great revelation is yours in these end and last times and you shall know how to walk with the true and living God like no other generation alive we thank you Lord of Spirits for it in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today and I walk with you by saying words you are the living God who gives me richly all things to enjoy in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God